Kristen Beverly here. I need to do my nails, so please don't judge me. I know they're kind of getting really messed up. But today I wanted to do an unboxing, unba unbagging of my new diamond painting tray and my light pad cover. So this is something that I ordered off of Etsy. The store is based in Quebec and I'm Canadian, so the shipping for this was, I think, $4. And I really wanted a custom, like, 3D printed diamond painting tray just because I wanted to try one out to see what the difference would be. So this is the current tray that I actually use right now. This was $3 on AliExpress from Huacan, I believe, and it came in like two weeks for shipping. And it was $3 total, including shipping. So it was really cheap and affordable. If you do use just like the generic ones that come with the kits, I would recommend upsizing to one this size. It's just made diamond painting more enjoyable and it's easier to separate the drills and um, get them all nicely laid out for diamond painting. So I would highly recommend something like this. I can add a link in the description below to the exact listing for this on AliExpress. But I ordered from this shop on in Quebec. I believe they're called like Caro 3D Creations, but I'll I'll make sure when we open it up that um, I'll show you their card and everything if it's in, inside. Um, but let's take a look and see. This is the back of the envelope, obviously, because my address is on the other side. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so it comes in this nice little organza, organza, I don't know, organza bag. That's sweet. The tray looks amazing, just like from not even taking it out yet. Cool, okay, so here is the light pad cover. I ordered it in mauve, 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 and I ordered the tray in mauve as well. This store actually has, I think like over 10 different colors you can choose from, which is awesome, or at least 10. Um, so all you do is this, well, this part covers up the switch on your light pad so that when you're diamond painting on top of your light pad, you don't actually turn it either on or you don't turn up the light intensity by hitting it by accident. And then this part just can, is the part that uh, is adhered to your light pad. So that's really neat. I'm excited to install this. And what else? Um, installation of the protective cap for your light pad. Attention, don't remove the protective surface of the double-sided tape immediately. Let me just make sure I'm in frame here. Okay. Um, first, position the cap on your light pad so that the section without the sticker completely covers the on-off button. Secondly, pull up only the part with the sticker, keeping pressure on the second second session, section, I can't even read, second section to prevent it from moving. Thirdly, peel off the protective surface on the double-sided tape and pull the cap down to secure it to your light pad. And then it says www.caro3dcreations.etsy.com. So if you want to check out this shop, it's caro3dcreations.etsy.com. But again, I'll put a link in the description box below. On the other side, we have the instructions, but just en français. Oops trying to be smooth en français. So the other side has instructions here in French. So basically what they're saying is put this part over top of the switch or the light pad switch and then hold on to it, take off this circle and then adhere it down while holding onto this part. So that makes sense. I'm excited to install that. I think that'll really help. It included a plate of wax Ooh, and here's their business card. I can get it out. Here's their business card. Diamond painting accessories. And now let's look at the tray because I know that's what you're here for and that's what I'm here for too. So here's the tray. Um, I'm not so sure about this at first because I was like, well, the spout is going to be really big and it's a lot bigger than I thought in like when I saw the pictures. So I don't know how that's going to work. But it's just, it's nice, it feels nice. The sides are really tall. It's a good thickness. These look like they're decently spaced out and so comparing it to the other one, it's almost the same but it's just square and has a bigger spout. Let's take a look. Uh, we can use, so this is number 605 from the Sweet Purple Diamond Art Club kit. We can use these as an example. Let's dump a whole bunch in there. Um, 
So usually when I shake the kit, shake the tray on this one, I put my thumb over the spout and then I shake it. But this one, or not my thumb, sorry, I put my finger over the spout and then I shake it. But this one, I feel like it's going to require my thumb because I don't want drills falling out of the spout and the spout is fairly wide. So if I do it this way, that makes them not fall out the spout, which is nice. Okay, so you can see everything lines up nicely. It's very similar to this tray, except it's just square and it has bigger spout, like I said earlier. I guess I'm repeating myself, but um, let's see how it dumps back into the tray. This is something I was also kind of nervous about because, so I'm right-handed, so for me, for dumping these in, I would be going like this. Hopefully you guys can see. I don't think it makes a difference, but it looks like if you dump it with your left hand and it's ang it's like at a better angle, or is that just me being weird? So I could see that maybe being an issue, um, kind of being annoying, but we'll see. It's something that I'll definitely have to get used to. I'm gonna use this tray after I'm done filming to actually, because I'm working on Sweet Purple right now, so I will, um, Get some time in with this tray tonight and then I can let you guys know. I'll update in the comments or something how the tray works out for me. Come on. Oh, I lost one. Damn, that's like the fifth. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so that is the tray. Let's take a look at it one last time. I noticed that there's no engraving on the side. So I know when you order 3D printed trays, usually there's engraving of like the shop name or the store name, but there's nothing on here. It's just completely plain. So this is a tray I ordered. I believe it was, I wanna say like $12 Canadian. The LED light pad switch cover was about, I think $4 Canadian and all together, including shipping, I believe I paid a total of $24 Canadian. So $24 for a tray and a light pad cover, that's not too bad for me. Um, when I am on Etsy, I take into account like the shipping costs and everything. So I don't wanna end up paying 16 to $20 for shipping, even though that is that seems to be the norm for US companies, but I know it's a lot and I know it actually does cost that much for shipping and handling, but it's just, unreasonable for me to buy, to spend that much just on shipping. So I'd rather just try and support a Canadian company and get lower prices on shipping and also like just support a Canadian company in general. And this company again is from Quebec. So that is Caro 3D Creations um, diamond painting tray and their light pad cover. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put the link in the description below. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit the sub red subscribe button to be notified of when I upload new videos. It's free. All you have to do is click that subscribe button. It would really help me out and I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment below. Um, do you guys use a custom like 3D printed diamond painting tray or are you using this type of diamond painting tray or are you using the one that comes in the kits? Let me know, I'm always curious to see what tools you guys have and if you have any tool recommendations for me to check out, that'd be great. Just post a link in the, in the comments below and I'll check that out. So thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.